Hey, you uh, want a decamp or something? Oh, no, I'm fine. But um, what are you doing here? I mean, you should be home in bed. You never left the hospital to go to the prom anyway. Hey, look, it all turned out okay. So, uh, ain't no use Monday morning quarterbacking, right? Yeah, I guess. Anyway, I stopped by for a cup of coffee and Beth asked if I wouldn't mind closing up for her. I said yes, because A, she's good people, and B, I never turned down work. And that's something I learned from uh, my many years at the University of the Streets. <laughs> It's all gonna work out. What? That heavy duty question you got running through your mind. You don't know what I'm thinking about. Oh, yeah? How's this? You can't sleep because you keep thinking about this guy and this girl. You're not sure if this guy feels the same way for this girl as she feels for him. Well, I can tell you right now. He's crazy about it. Are you sure? I mean, are you sure? Because I feel the same way. You could take it to the bank. I do you know. Well, you never notice? When they're in the same room together, the temperature goes up a hundred degrees. The first time I saw Teresa and Ethan hanging out together, I totally got the big picture. Even if Ethan was a little slow on the uptake. Right, uh, yeah, right. Um, Teresa and Ethan. That's what you were thinking about, right? Well, <laughs> well, yeah, of course. Who else would I? Who else? Who else? Wait a minute. You thought I was talking about you and me, didn't you? No, no. Oh, come on. Now, Whitney, we both know you're the world's most terrible liar. Okay, when I said that that guy would turn the girl's feelings, you were happy for a second. And you thought I meant us. You thought I was talking about us, didn't you? You don't know what you're talking about. No. Well, before you seem to have an awful lot of negative things to say about Teresa admitting how she feels to Ethan. Well, that's because it's bound to end in disaster. You know what I think? I think bottling up your emotions for so long that you start to question whether you've even got any. That's bound to end in heartbreak. Well, I'm not bottling up any emotions. And you could have fooled me. You know, I think you came in here tonight because you had an idea that you'd find me. Well, that's just ridiculous. I came here to maybe see if I could find Teresa. She went to talk to Ethan again about asking him whether he loves her as much as she loves him. And I'm worried about what he said to her. What if he told her that he loves her? Well, that's never going to happen, so we don't have to worry about it. Now, you see, that's always a place where you and me part ways. Because I'm so counting on my man Ethan to get his act together and realize that the woman he wants to spend the next 50 years of his life with is Teresa, not Gwen. Now, if he can come clean about where his heart is really at, then maybe there's still hope for you, too. Hello, Lisa. Hello. How you doing? You want some coffee? Oh, yeah, thanks. Are you okay? <laughs> it couldn't be better. Hello. I'm really sorry, Teresa. I just can't stand to see you feeling like this. <laughs> like you know what's best for everyone. If you'll please excuse us. I'm trying to talk to my best friend again. Well, maybe your best friend don't want to be hearing all this negativity right now. I mean, it's one thing to step on your own dreams, but why not be your best friend a solid by leaving hers alone? It's all right, Chad. No, no, no. You know what? I ain't finished. Now, suppose somebody told you to quit playing tennis because they thought that you were never going to make the Olympics. Or uh, that uh, fancy tournament in England. It's Wimbledon. And look, it's not the same thing at all, okay? I actually have a real chance to play championship tennis there one day. 
It's been my dream forever, and I've been working very hard towards it. And from what I can see, Teresa's been working just as hard to get Ethan. So, Teresa, look, it may be some of my business, but I don't think you should give up, okay? Not until you hear from Ethan's very own lips that he doesn't like you. Thanks for being in my corner, Chad. Sure. You love Ethan? You do whatever it takes to get. Don't tell her that, Chad. Why not? Sometimes things in life don't come easy. Sometimes you gotta go out there and fight for it. With everything you've got. I can't believe you're telling Teresa that anything goes when it comes to love. Well, what about telling lies? People get hurt when you tell lies, don't they? Well, look, I draw the line at sticking knives in people's backs, okay? But yo, a white lie here and there, sometimes you've got no choice. You know what? You are unbelievable. Do you know that? No, you are awfully self-righteous about the truth when you can't even be honest with your own self. I don't know what that means. Like I said, you want to win, you got to play the game by the same rules as your opponent. You keep talking about love like it's some sort of game. No wonder some people don't have a whole lot of trust in their relationship. Some people? Well, it certainly doesn't inspire a whole lot of faith when certain people make it sound like love is all about deception. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't go putting words in my mouth, okay? Look, love is about being real. About being on the up and up with yourself and everybody else. Okay, look, some, sometimes some people need a little nudge or a little push to show another person how to feel. And then there's some other people who are so bullheaded and so stuck on being right and safe that they wouldn't know the truth if it came up to them and smacked them in the face. Are the two of you going at it about Ethan and me, or the two of you? <laughs> you know, I think we better get going. Thanks for the coffee, Chad. Hey, no problem. Yo, good luck. Anybody with the guts to fight for what she wants, deserves to get what she wants. Thanks. What? You haven't been through enough tonight? She thought you put in a couple hours here? You know, every little bit helps. <laughs> what about you, man? What you doing, uh, prowling the night at this hour? Well, I thought someone might be here, but I guess I was wrong. Oh, yeah. Anybody I know? No. No, it's not important. I don't know what could be more important than uh, trying to figure out who you're going to spend the rest of your life with. What are you getting at, Chad? Come on, man. Don't try to hide it. You came in here looking for two weeks. Well, why do you think I was looking for the reason? Well, for one thing, you just missed her. She left there with Whitney a few minutes ago. Damn. Look, Ethan. I know that Teresa told you she loves you. Now, the question is, how you feel about her? Well, I'm engaged to Gwen. I shouldn't be thinking about anyone else. That's not an answer, man. It doesn't man. make sense. I don't want to hurt anyone. Look, I'm afraid you're just in one of those situations where someone...